are you? Oh, look at my voice. Woo! Doing in my hair. Um, not much has actually really happened. Um, a few days ago, mom and dad talked to their primary doctor, and they, uh, they got some medicine. They got, like, what is it, a steroid, an inhaler. They're still told to keep taking that, those vitamins that help, um, the immune, their immune system for the, for COVID, uh, and then they were given another medicine hold. <sighs> Ice coffee. Mm. So, they were given another medicine. And I forget, I don't remember what it is. I'm not down there. I, I think I said in the last video, I'm only down there. I go down, um to take my medicine and to get my coffee and that's and then I just go back upstairs I take my coffee up upstairs with me as like you know you've seen I, I think in previous videos I take my coffee back up I take my coffee upstairs so then I don't have to um, have it downstairs and then I just stay up here I would say pretty much 90% of the time I'm up here and I am bored out of my mind. I am so bored. Um, woo, we're gonna fall together. A breakout in song. There, there's really nothing, I swear, like, my, like, I even thought of maybe doing some sort of, ooh, maybe doing some sort of, like, almost like a day in my life, but all that would be is me seeing me go downstairs, have, make my coffee, have my medicine, and come up here and do nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing. I mean, I have energy, but I come up here, watch YouTube videos. If I'm not, if I'm not editing, um, I come up here, watch my YouTube videos, like, people I'm subscribed to, I watch those, I play my, I play Sims 4, um, I can't really play much other video games, it, it's a, they're seizure triggers for me, so, I, I really can't do that, um, I've tried, and then I, my eyes would hurt, and I would feel dizzy, and it, it just would not be good, I'd have to take, like, a thousand breaks. But, uh, I would just play The Sims for a while, I would watch YouTube, and that's pretty much it until around dinner time. There's really not much else that I do for a while. However, my reflux has been, I was born, I was born with acid reflux. It kind of runs in the family, on my mom's side of the family, it kind of runs in the family, and it has been acting up, but I think what has been happening is I'm not eating a whole lot, because I'm just trying to pretty much eat what I can that's very quick, like kind of like almost microwavable stuff that I can eat that's like really quick. And I go upstairs, but then I'm hungry a few hours later, and then I just snack on ruffles. And then, like, a few hours later, my stomach, like, I, my, my stomach is achy, and I'm just like, oh, I don't like this. And my allergies, ooh, ooh. Look at my hair. Ah! I haven't brushed it. They just threw it up in a ponytail. Um... And my allergies have been acting up. But the past few days I've woken up and my eyes are swollen and itchy. Um, I would have, like, congestion or, like, one nostril side is, like, runny. The other side's stuffed up. Um, I've been sneezing a lot. Coughing. 
coughing, I wouldn't say I cough a lot, just, it just happens. It, it's with all the other allergy symptoms. So that's been happening. So I've been taking Benadryl, um, the past few days, like, in the afternoon time, and at night. So I sleep also quite a bit during the day. It, it really, I, I really don't know that there, there's not a whole lot that is really going on. But, oh, but mom and dad do, from what I hear, we have FaceTimed. They do look like they are getting better, which is good. I think we've already started, um, because they were having symptoms, I think, a couple of days before we got, before they got tested. And that was a three day, no, two day waiting period. So, and that was three days ago. So it's, we are in the beginning of the second week. And we both, all of us really miss each other. Like when we FaceTimed, I started crying because I haven't really seen them. Like where they would eat and where I would eat would be completely on the opposite side of the house. And I would only be downstairs for probably at max, I would say, 10 minutes. And either they're up in their room and I'm downstairs on my own. Or they're on the complete opposite uh, on the complete opposite side of the house. And we might talk like, how are you? I'm okay, how are you? But when we FaceTimed, I started crying. And... We, we just, we, we all just miss each other. We can't wait for this to be over. So then we, I can go back downstairs and give him like a hug. Um, oh, I don't want to cry being on video. I mean, I wouldn't mind, but, um, I'm really, I'm, I'm pretty close with my parents and it's really hard for me. Not only do I not like being like, feeling like I'm locked up. I feel like I'm in jail. You know, I feel like I'm in jail and I'm having a hard time being away from my family. <laughs> it's just like, Leo, I miss him so much. <laughs> I just really do miss them and I don't get to see them. I don't get to, you know, I always would give them a hug and get good night. Um, I give them a hug when I wake up in the morning. Um, and I would always tell them, like, how much I love them. And it's just like, I can't do any of that. I haven't really seen them in like so long and it really is hard oh god look how much tired I am my eye was really swollen this morning it looks like it's bruised a little bit it's been getting bruised especially this side it's been getting more swollen I just looked at the thing and I'm like oh I look they'll just put these ah but Oh, I'll hide that. Hide my bruising on my eye. It got, it's been like getting really swollen. But I just really miss them. And it's been like really, really hard. Oh. And I'm also the kind of person that likes to be there like if they're not well. Um, like when my mom has headaches or something, I'm, I act as like almost like a nurse and like I, I'm like getting stuff for her and I'm down there and I'm like, I would like sing to her and it's just, I'm just really having a hard time and I'm like, I just want to be around my parents again. 
I usually do pretty much everything with them. I see when my dad's at work, that's the only time I don't see him, but as soon as he gets home, I give him a hug. Um, I'm, I'm around my mom pretty much 24-7. Well, aside from when she goes to sleep, but all day, seven days a week, pretty much. So, there's really not times where I'm... I'm on my own unless mom and dad have gone on a trip by themselves. But this, and even they, they had said it feels like, you know, jail because they don't get to see me and they really miss me and every, you know, and when I do go downstairs and like they, they're right, that they're there and they hear me coming downstairs, they're like, how are you? We don't get to see each other. They're like, how are you? And it's like the, I'm good, how are you kind of thing. And they're like, we really miss you. It's really been hard on all of us. And it's... I, I don't really know how else to put it. It's just been... It's just been really hard. I don't know. I think it's the beginning of week two. The week, the, the days are starting to blend together because they're, I'm pretty much doing the same thing every single day. There's nothing much that's different. But I know pretty soon, probably by the end of this week, their medicine is a five or six day cycle. And the doctor thinks that they should be good by the end of the medicine. So... <sighs> you guys, it's <sighs> I I really don't I lost I've lost track of how many days it's been. I don't really know what to say, what to do. Sorry if the camera's shaking, I'm shaking. <sighs> so, I had to prop my camera up because it was shaking. Oh. But, that there's This has been difficult. And I know there are people that are going through a lot worse. I know there are people out there that are going through a lot worse, but I... And I always felt for, I always felt bad for them. You know, and prayed for them. But... Get some coffee. At least they are looking like they're feeling better. They're not coughing and having such as much of a hard time as they uh, were in the beginning. Um, they seem like they're doing a bit better, which is good. Which it, it really is good. So there's that. Just. And I've been having, as I said, you know, we're all having a hard time being away from each other. But when it comes to me, not only do I feel alone, but, you know, as I said before, with my allergies and reflux, you know, that's making me not feel so well. Um, crying on and off because I, I miss them. I feel alone, almost like I don't have someone to talk to, but then at the same time, I don't know if I want to really talk. It depends on how I feel because all I'm going to want to talk about is 
what's going on with them and then I'm going to start crying. Like I just did. So it's kind of like a 50-50. I want to talk to people but then I'm not sure. You know, uh, that, that's, that, that's pretty much it. I'm, I'm not doing a whole lot. Um, hopefully soon, uh, hopefully soon I can, that they'll be done and, and things will get back to normal. Oh, sorry for all the, you know, all the pausing. I just, I'm at a loss of words. I don't really know what to say. I'm constantly, the past few days, I've been taking Benadryl in the morning, you know, after my medicine at night because my allergies have been so bad. Mom did see me once. She didn't come up to me, but, um... I was taking my medicine and she was kind of, she was in, where how it's laid out, she would have been able to see me walking through the kitchen and my eyes were just so puffed up, looked like I had puffer fish on, puffer fish on my eyes, that's why it's like bruising, that's why it's gotten bruising like on the side there, because it was just so swollen, it got really, really swollen last night. Uh, and I even had a Benadryl and it was still swollen. I almost took two Benadryl. So I, my allergies have been kicking my butt. I've been... I know I need to probably force myself to eat more, but I... I don't think I can. I don't know. Well, I'm sorry this isn't as... I don't know, well, I don't know for you guys if it's such an exciting kind of video. I just don't really, there's really not a whole lot going on. I literally, most, 90% of the time, I'm literally in my bed. And I hate every bit of it. I am very much an outdoorsy person. And this is like, this COVID, don't worry, I, I like sanitize my hands, like, and wash my hands before I go downstairs and when I come back upstairs I wash my hands and sanitize them um, I'll sanitize my hands before I go to sleep yeah, I'm, I'm like really itchy I still have like a, a rash I am like my whole body's itchy I might actually do I might actually have to take a Benadryl but I I don't know how this is if it's gonna be interesting or anything I've That there's really just not going much going on. Love you guys. Um, this is gonna be the end of the video. Love you guys. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Please stay safe out there. And I'll see you guys next time. I'll be Bye. Your